The garage is so quiet, it's crazy. Uh, Shelly's puppies went home on Saturday, all eight of them went to their families, and so far we've had really good reports. Everybody's doing well with their crate training and sleeping through the night and potty training, so it's really good news to hear. Uh, but now we have to deep clean this area and get it ready for Isla's puppies. Isla's puppies are four and a half weeks old, which means that they're ready to transition out here. And so we're gonna get their puppy mush ready, which is the goat's milk and the blended up kibble, and um, start surrounding them with their potty trays and start in that process. So we're gonna uh, get started on that. today the girls are out of school Yay! <laughs> so we're putting them to work we're gonna spray and clean um, Shelly's area before we transition Isla's to it so let's get to it puppy mush since island home the babies need to eat right so we are going to put their goat's milk together and their puppy food so abigail you're going to fill this up with puppy food and aubrey you get the goat's milk okay All right, girls, did you get your stuff? Thank you, and thank you. Your lunch is on the counter. You guys can go ahead and start eating. So why we uh, put it in a blender is because we are actually gonna crush it up into small, small, small bits, so that way it can make a puppy mush with goat's milk. 
So we get our goat's milk from our um, Nature's Emporium, which is a local pet store, and that just makes it an easy transition from mom's milk to goat's milk. Um, and so they are really attracted to the scent, and then it makes them more willing to try. So let's blend this up. All right, so now that we have ground up our kibble, and by the way, we only use this Vitamix for dog kibble. We have one for our human side too. Uh, so we are gonna take some and dump it in. And the initial uh, slurry or like combination is going to be very liquidy. You want the puppies just to come over and be able to lap it up. And they're gonna be drawn to it because it's goat's milk. And so it's very, it smells very similar to, their, to the mom milk. Uh, so we're gonna pour this in. And I use a whole container for the first one. Because like I said, we want it to be really liquidy um, so they can come over. And then as the days progress, then we'll back off the goat's milk and do more of the kibble. And so it's going to be almost like kind of like jello or mush. And then once they get really good at that, then we do um, just soft kibble and where we've let the kibble sit in water overnight. And then the last transition is to hard kibble. So by the time that they're eight weeks old, they are eating hard kibble when they head home. So we're gonna mix this up and then get their area set up so we can offer it to them. So, very tasty. <laughs> so now that the floor is dry, we are going to build Isla's nursery out here. So we're gonna put a new mat down, get all the puppy pads and the trays ready, and then bring them out here and let them start exploring. So when we're making our nurseries, we are able to set up as many trays as we want. We always start out with four, because uh, it gives the puppies enough area to rest, enough area to sleep and eat, but then not a whole lot else. So they're gonna be surrounded by the trays so that they quickly learn to potty train. And then as they do well and they get better and better, we take trays out. So we're gonna set it up and then we'll bring the puppies in here and show you how that looks. So just a reminder, you wanna make sure that the pads are all the way down. Uh, puppies at this age, when, when I put them in, won't be grabbing it, but if you've got puppies that are older, they can grab it and pull it out, and that is not fun to clean up. So we're finishing up our last one, and you might look at this and say, oh, this is a lot of their space, but it's so important for them to grasp the concept of potty training, and they will learn so quickly that by the first week, one of these trays will get removed, and by the end of the next couple of weeks, they'll be down to two or one trays. And then the other important part is that we do our training and our free play, and they have plenty of time to run and to be uh, adventurous. So let's see what the puppies think of their new area. Let's go get them. Let's go. with their transition to this nursery. They're exploring, they're already walking over the potty trays, they're drinking their milk. I'm gonna get them a few toys and let them play and check back in on them a little later. Guys, it's so beautiful today. We are glad that we're done with our puppy duties so now we can spend some time with the kids since they're off of school. And then later today we gotta to take Frankie for progesterone and then we're all wrapped up. Have a good day. Yeah. <laughs>